this is Jeff. So, obviously, this year, wala masyadong uh, magagandang online games na na-release, no? Um, ibig ko sabihin, yung mga online games na uh, open world, na may something new to offer talaga. So, kung mahilig ka sa mga MMORPGs na full-scale open world, oh, yeah! at naghihintay ka rin, kaya ko, na mga games na release this year or next year 2020, then you should watch this video. These are the top 5 upcoming MMOs full-scale open world na i-release dito sa Pilipinas. Let's watch this. Diablo Immortal Diablo Immortal was announced way back 2018. Ito ang mobile game version ng isa sa pinakasikat na hack and slash action role-playing game sa PC na Diablo franchise. Pretty much the same ang gagawin dito gaya ng PC version ng game na to. Questing, grind, loot, hunt, pit boss, and collect rare gears. I'm not so sure though kung ito ay magiging open world or co-op ang magiging gameplay ng version na to. There are 6 character classes in this game. Barbarian, Monk, Wizard, Demon Hunter, Crusader, and Necromancer. Kung familiar ka sa Diablo franchise sa mga MMORPG character classes, pretty much may idea ka na kung ano-ano ang pinagkaiba ng mga classes na yan at kung anong class ang pipiliin mo pag na-release na ang game. There is not much information yet regarding the gameplay, in-app purchases, or release date. It was announced though by Blizzard, ang publisher ng Diablo franchise, way back I think in February sa isang game conference na wala silang game na re-release this 2019. Mabinogi Fantasy Life Mabinogi Fantasy Life is the mobile version of the popular Mabinogi PC version in South Korea. Matagal na release ang PC game na to by Nexon as publisher. Almost 16 years na sa South Korea. It was announced last year, 2018, na magkakaroon ito ng mobile version. This is an open world full scale MMORPG. Pwede ka mamili na maging mage, musician, alchemist, warrior, at archer. Some classes are yet to be unlocked. And same with other MMOs ang gagawin dito which is questing, my main and side quests, grind, hunt, rare, and upgrade gears Then There is a PvP arena challenge where you can choose your opponent depending sa firepower or combat power nila. My real-time PvP din ito. Mabinogi Bobel version is now officially released in Southeast Asia region since December 4, 2019. The game size is around 1GB plus at pwede nyo na itong ma-download sa Play Store and Apple Store. Black Desert Mobile As of now, my 4 million pre-registered accounts na ang site nila and may pa events sila sa Facebook page where they are giving away physical items dahil sa milestone na 4 million pre-registrations. They'll have a chance to win these items. Just go to their Facebook page. Now, like some other games with a PC version, this is Black Desert's own mobile version. This is also an MMORPG full-scale open-world game. There are five classes of game na to. Warrior, Witch, Ranger, Giant, and Valkyrie. Sumikat din si Black Desert sa customization features ng characters at magkakaroon din ito sa mobile version. The mobile version offers life skills gaya ng fishing, foraging, trading, and managing your camp. The game will also feature a guild system, weather-changing environment, pets, and town-building system. And, of course, PvP Challenge Arena. Kung mahili ka mag-solo adventure at hunt sa malalawak na maps, then this game is for you. 
global launch is on December 11, 2019. Yep, this year now. And you can now pre-register the site at all. World of Dragon Nest If you remember, Dragon Nest is one of the most successful lowly or chibi MMO na na release a PC platform way back March 2010. Then, with the ever-changing games market, they created a mobile version na Dragon Nest M, which is for me was not that successful because as experienced in-game, Naging cash cow ang game na to and was received negatively by its player base dahil nga sa talamak na in-app purchases. Then, side face, Nexon announced that this year supposedly it re released ang World of Dragon Nest, which is an MMO open world. However, due to planning and in-game contents that have yet to meet their standards, they moved the release date to 2020. Kind of excited tayo dito kasi this is something new sa Dragon Nest gameplay. Also was announced may bagong class sila na i-release which is the Slayer. Dual blade and daggers ang weapon and DPS class po ito under the race of half dragon, half humans. Hmm, mga Targaryens? They can also transform into their dragon form when using their ultimate skill. World of Dragon Nest still has same features like the PC version that will be maintained as a mobile version like the pet and mount system, costumes, and guild. They will also feature a friendship system where you can be BFFs with your favorite NPCs and get daily rewards. The global release is on January 8, 2020 both in iOS and Android. Naruto Slugfest Cubinet has acquired publication rights of the new and only 3D open world MMO of Naruto. You can now pre-register your accounts sa site na ito. I just recently attended the Naruto Slugfest media and community gathering at nakakuha tayo ng mga useful information regarding the game. Sa previous na alpha test, may 4 classes na na-introduce atin, Ranger, Phantom, Sport, at Tank. They may release more classes as the game continues to grow. One of the most unique features in game na to ay ang interactive environment kung saan pwede ka tumalon-talon sa mga bubong, umakyat sa mga puno, at poste or umupo lang sa bench. As announced din sa event, you have to collect and craft gears. The items can be upgraded. But you need to be careful sa upgrading dahil ang weather changing feature with day and night effects ay pwedeng maka-apekto sa crafting and upgrading ng items. Ibig sabihin na nakadepende sa timing ng oras at mood ng weather ang success rate. That's why number one pro sa listahan ang Naruto Slugfest dahil isa ito sa mga unique features nila na never ko pa na-encounter sa ibang MMOs. Like other MMOs, my main and side quest in ito to open more features in the game and will give you more rewards. If you want to immerse yourself sa mundo ng anime at mag-adventure dito ninja style, then this game is for you. The game will be released in CBT phase on January 2020. Yeah, I know, I know you're gonna games now. Full scale open world.